Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be discussing how we can make this wall art image that you can see um, the two frames with the mountain bike and it's split. It's a pretty simple process um, using some easy features within Inkscape itself so um, hopefully you can follow along. So what we need to start off by doing is drawing a rectangle um, and making sure that it's nice and square in the corners and you can do that by dragging the little node that you can see there um, once I zoom in. Um, and that just squares off the corners. Once you've done that, um, it's time to resize it and then we can change it to line fill. Um, so for this one I'm going to change the stroke to 30mm because I'm working to scale um, on this image. I'm changing it to 30cm because that will give it a nice frame round the outside once we laser cut it out. So you can see there it's quite a nice broad sort of thingy. A broad sort of frame um, and yeah we just basically resize it until we're happy with how it looks and then make sure you change it back to the 30 on the frame um, for the stroke width so we'll do this and then duplicate it and paste it in next to it so we can see just how the bike's going to look within that frame once we've got it aligned up properly and um, for some reason my alignment tool wasn't snapping on um, so I had to align it manually. So now you can see the bike needs sized up a little bit so we'll just resize that just so it fits the width of the two frames side by side um, and then move it to a position that we're happy with basically. It's dead easy and it's just again um, I guess you playing around until you're happy. So once you've done that, you can get rid of one of the frames, not both of them, just one of them. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to convert that path to a stroke, uh, stroke to path, basically. So what that does is it creates two sets of nodes instead of one set. So either side of the bounding box there, you can see you've got two sets of paths. And now that we've done that, I'm going to change it to no fill and then change the stroke to a thinner stroke so we can see what we're doing. So we need to copy this again and then paste it in next to it. Just like this. And then make sure you've got your selection tool not the nodes editing tool and then drag it into position and you can see there it snapped into position nice and easy. So now that I've done that I've decided that the handlebars need a little bit more space so I'm going to resize the the boxes and you can just do that by selecting them all while pressing shift and then dragging it up. That's dead easy. So now what we want to do is we need to duplicate the bike so we've got two of them and you can do that by pressing control and D and you can see there it's duplicated and it's stacked on top of each other. Now you want to select one of the frames on the internal frames on the right hand side and then the bike and press control shift and minus and that will um, create a difference. So to show you what that's doing here, I've coloured the box in red. You need to have the bike above it and then it basically cuts out the bike part from that red section. So now to make it all one piece, what we do is I'm going to colour the two background areas in uh, like a green colour and then make sure they're lower. And then again pressing um, the control shift and minus button we remove the center section um, out of the back section and it all becomes one shape so it's nice and easy so yeah you can see it's sorry it's not control and shift it's just control and minus um, and then it's ready for laser cutting it's dead easy nice and simple I've sped this up quite a bit because it takes a wee while to cut it all out um, and then what I'll do once it's cut out is I'll take it away and I'll paint it off camera and then bring you back in at the end to see what it looks like up on the wall. Um, it's awesome what you can do just by simple geometry within light, light uh, ink shape, sorry, um, and it, it can really add a bit of niceness to any room, really, really. So yeah, hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, some simple tricks and tips there. Um, for you to learn and play about with. Like to see what you make. If you've enjoyed this video, please do subscribe and like the video. It really helps out the channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.